In April this year Stephen and Jaswende Reed were out enjoying themselves casually walking on the Marsh Loop Trail in Concord, New Hampshire on a normal day until they encountered a person with a gun who brutally shot them to death. The murder of a New Hampshire couple in their 60s remains a mystery tonight. Investigators were back working in the woods around Concord today with the hope of uncovering some leads in those killings. Investigators say Stephen and Wendy Reed were each shot several times. The couple had not been heard from for a few days when police found their bodies just off a hiking trail in Concord, a discovery that has shaken that community. WBZ's Paul Burton spent the day in Concord, New Hampshire. But it's definitely scary. It's awful. Concord, New Hampshire residents fear for their safety. I was actually pretty surprised when I heard that there was multiple gunshots. Investigators returned a broken ground trail in Concord, New Hampshire, where a husband and wife in their 60s were both murdered, and their bodies were found with multiple gunshot wounds along the trail where they had been walking. Dr. Weinberg determined that the cause of Stephen Reed's death was multiple gunshot wounds. Police say Stephen and Wendy Reed left Monday afternoon from the Alton Woods apartment complex where they lived. They were going for a walk outside, and that was the last time they were seen. Investigators now need any evidence of their last moments they can find. The family first reported the couple missing on Wednesday. Their bodies were found Thursday night. Throughout the week, but if people specifically encountered them uh, or have any information about anyone they saw or anything they observed in that, in that area of the broken ground trails on Monday afternoon, uh, that's the time frame we're looking at. Police have not said if this was a random or targeted attack. They are asking nearby residents to be vigilant, but investigators say there is no reason to believe that the public is at risk at this time. I don't know how people aren't in danger. If it was me, I would be saying, don't walk the trails. Folks are now second guessing walking these popular trails, even as the weather gets warmer and the days stay lighter outside. I definitely won't be going on a walking trail by myself. Um, it makes you want to have a, an animal or a protection with you at some point because it just was horrible what happened to those people. I was just talking about going on a trail myself and now I'm actually having second thoughts because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Police are asking for the public's help, anyone with information in regards to this gruesome crime or happen to have seen the reeds earlier this week are asked to contact police. In Concord, New Hampshire, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. In May 2022, New Hampshire investigators release a sketch and a description as to who they believe is connected to the brutal shooting couple murders on the Marsh Loop Trail. Tales tonight in the murder of a Concord, New Hampshire couple. Take a good look at this picture on your screen. Police releasing a sketch of a person of interest wanted in connection to the crime. Stephen and Wendy Reed were found dead off a Concord, New Hampshire walking trail just last month. Their deaths remain a mystery. Police also hoping an increase in reward money leads to more answers. NBC 10's Brian Burnell brings us up to speed on the investigation in New Hampshire. Investigators in Concord, New Hampshire, want to speak to this man in connection with the murders of Stephen and Wendy Reed last month. I will stress that he is a person of interest. Uh, that is, he is someone that investigators believe may have information about these crimes as either a witness or a suspect. The Reeds were shot several times. Their bodies found off the Marsh Loop Trail in the Broken Ground Trail system where they walked frequently. This person was seen in the vicinity uh, of, of the homicides on April 18th, 2022. The day they went missing. Correct. The man is described as being in his late 20s or early 30s, approximately 5 foot 10, medium build, short brown hair, clean shaven, wearing a dark blue jacket, maybe with a hood, khaki pants, and carrying a black backpack. Police have received more than 170 tips in this case. And chief tells me that today they've already, um, based on the stories that, it, that you all have run, gotten dozens more tips today. Officials are being careful how much information they release. At this stage, it's important that there's information that's only known to investigators and to the killer. Police chief Bradley Osgood says he's confident the trails are safe, in part due to increased patrols. They've been patrolling the parks and uh, trailheads. Um, we're starting to get more um, bicycle patrols, more more use of the uh, the four wheelers into the uh, the trail system. In addition to releasing the sketch, officials also announced that the reward for information in this case has gone up from five thousand dollars to more than thirty three thousand. In Concord, New Hampshire, Brian Burnell, NBC Ten, Boston.
On the 12th of October 2022 a person of interest was brought in named Logan LeVar Clegg a 26-year-old from Utah. Logan LeVar Clegg a transient is a person of interest in the unsolved double homicide and was about 36 hours away from boarding a one-way flight to Berlin, Germany, when he was arrested in South Burlington, Vermont. Clegg who was charged with being a fugitive from justice in Utah appeared the next day in Vermont Superior Court in Burlington. After hearing arguments from both sides Judge A. Gregory Rainville ordered Clegg jailed without bail for violation of probation and imposed $20,000 on the Utah charges. We're following breaking news. A person of interest in the unsolved murders of a New Hampshire couple is in custody this afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News Boston. I'm Paula Eben. The bodies of Stephen and Jeswendy Reed were found on a trail in Concord more than five months ago. And ever since, investigators have been struggling to piece together what happened. WBZ's Christina Hager has more now on what we know about this person of interest. Here's what we know. We know the Attorney General's office here in Concord, New Hampshire, is calling this suspect a person of interest and connection with the homicides of a couple that had people here in Concord in a panic back when it happened in April. Stephen and Wendy Reed were out for a walk together on a popular wooded trail when they were shot to death multiple times. And now, what appears to be a break in the case, we told Concord Police contacted officers in South Burlington, Vermont, yesterday, asking them to make contact with a 26-year-old man named Logan Clegg. We're told Clegg is homeless, and when police found him in a Vermont library, they took him into custody, not in connection with Reed's murder, but in connection with another case out of Utah for which Clegg was on probation. So he's now in custody up in Vermont. About five months ago, police put out a sketch of a person they've been looking for. And now we know Clegg is someone police particularly want to speak with as they look into this mysterious murder. But again, no one has been arrested in connection with the double homicide. Of course, we'll keep you posted on any developments. In Concord, New Hampshire, Christina Hager, WBC News. On Wednesday, the 19th of October, 2022, Logan LeVar Clegg was officially charged in the murders of Stephen and Jaswende Reed. Breaking news now at six. This is from New Hampshire. The attorney general there has officially charged a 26 year old man with the April murders of a Concord couple. Stephen and Wendy Reed were found dead not far from their apartment along a popular hiking trail. Logan Clegg was arrested last week in Vermont on an unrelated warrant and shortly after was named a person of interest in the Concord killings. He's expected to appear in court tomorrow in Vermont and will then be extradited to New Hampshire. We'll continue to follow this breaking story. In 2018, four years before the murders of Stephen and Wendy Reed in Concord, New Hampshire suspect Logan Clegg was involved in the fatal stabbing of Corey Ward in Spokane, Washington. Logan Clegg claimed self-defense and was never charged. 